think that the boss is done again today. Is it again just profit taking? No, I think I think we may have seen the profit taking uh, morph into into a bit of panic selling, uh, triggered off by the by the second phase of the of the banking program, which has seen um, uh, a couple of the big hitters in the industry declare losses. Friendly? Are you expecting it to carry but, on through hello? the beginning of next week? Can you hear me, Akin Wanwala? Yeah, how much you? Uh, we think we think the hemorrhaging that began about two weeks ago may indeed cascade into next week. Uh, th that said, that said, it may be uh, uh, it's it's wise to point out at this point that uh, today we saw volumes thinning out significantly. Uh, volumes uh, dipped by week on week of about, about almost 60 percent to 3112 uh, million. Uh, day on day, that was also the, a plunge of about 27 percent, but very very significant. And so we think the selling pressure might be easing off uh, slightly. Uh, whether that is going to, whether that, uh, that of course signals an inflection point for next week and we may see a turnaround. But to declare that the bulls will be returning next week uh, will clearly be reckless. Uh, we may see the market trade sideways as investors exhaust themselves out um, uh, after the heavy selling we've seen this past two weeks. Finally. I can wonder uh, which banking stocks are you keeping an eye on for next week? Uh, I will be keeping an eye on uh, First Bank, on GT Bank, on, uh, on UBA. All right, now let's take a look at the results coming out of Access Bank. We're seeing that its gross earnings has increased by about 31%. What are some of the reasons behind that? Ah, <laughs> Access Bank prior to 2008, 2009 was seeing triple digit growth. Uh, so it's, it's what, what we see that it's just continued momentum. Uh, we think Access Bank growing at 34 is very impressive in this current environment. But compared to even its prior growth, uh, uh, you, could see, you could see the adverse effect of the current operating environment. So Access Bank continues to you know, remain strong on operational efficiency and, um, and, and it's gaining market share. It's, it's, it's when well known in the industry as one of the nifty, or shall we say one of the tigers of the industry. It's not heavy on balance sheet, it's not heavy on deposits, but it's, uh, uh, it's, its core strengths remain operational efficiency. And, um, and it's um, an innovation, fairly. Well, its operating costs are down about 51%. How did the bank manage to keep its operating costs down? Uh, Access Bank, unlike most banks, um, they didn't go for heavy staff shedding. What we think a lot of that, a lot of that is they simply, they simply restrained operating costs while they grew the top line. Uh, that, in a sense, uh, that, that is somewhat, somewhat an hallmark of um, of Access Bank, they've always managed to grow the top line without, without busting, uh, without busting costs. And so, what we think is, while revenues grew, they they uh, they they held in check operating costs. Well, compared to the results out of Sterling Bank as well as Sky Bank, how did Access Bank fare? Do you think? Uh, of all three, I would say Access Bank, uh, uh, Access Bank tops in terms of uh, relative performance. Uh, while we saw while we saw Sky Bank's revenue was uh, I think just uh, just over 100 billion, um, and um, yet operating operating profit still would come to if you would, um, oh yeah operating profit would come to close to 20 billion. Uh, access Bank operating profit is about 21 billion with with revenue of about 64. Again, it's just uh, uh, it's just it's just shouting out loud the Access Bank operational efficiency, uh, which they've been known for. It's a lean. It operates a very, very lean staff and management structure, and that is what it's currently leveraging on. And which remains why, despite the 34 billion, uh, sorry, despite the 31 billion in loan loss, it still remains uh, strong. Uh, even though it declared a, P, uh, a loss of close to 11 billion, uh, we believe Access Bank will most likely end the year with um, uh, with marginal profit, and we'll see next year, and we'll see strong growth next year. Friendly. Okay, Wanwala, just before we go, just give us an outlook for the currency. Uh, the Naira, as we know right now, is, uh, is, is the central bank's play. We don't think the central bank would allow the Naira to depreciate below, below one, the, uh, above, above 155. Indeed, the governor has come out to say that out loud. He says he's comfortable with a 3% ban around the, around the one, 150 levels. So we think Naira will remain stable between, between 149 and 153 in the short term.